Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest dream car competition, which ran from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Just before I hand over to the lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the dream car competition, Osman Abdullah, winning a brand new Mercedes A45S and also 70,000 pounds. I'd now like to pass over to Alexander Brooks from Onside Law, who'll oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company as it's. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the center of the ball should be. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer and looking forward to a game of football before this season ends. Hi, my name's Renee Hector and I'm a football player for Watford FC Women and I'm a coach for Tottenham Hotspur Foundation. Good morning, uh, my name's Liam Walsh. I'm a retired referee, currently an FA observer and head coach for the Middlesex Referees Academy. My name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. Hi, my name is Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England, currently in Gloucestershire, and have refereed from grassroots through to professional academies. Hi, my name is Eric Mendonca. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, firstly as a player, then as a referee. Good morning, my name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Hi, I'm Jenna Scalacci, former professional footballer. I'm now a head coach on a Tottenham College programme. My name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. My name's Andy Braithwaite and I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Thanks very much, Alex. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, morning. Morning, morning. morning. Yeah, we had two players in shot. The, the player in the in the foreground in, in the yellow and blue looks to me like he's coming down. His shirt sort of ruffled up. So that would suggest he's on the way down from uh, from jumping. Uh, and the player in the background looks quite set um, and may well be a goalkeeper, although we can't say for 100% sure, but he's got that sort of goalkeeper glare uh, to my mind. Um, we've got four good eyes. I'll draw up from the player in yellow first. We've got the highest one up here to Leo. And then the lowest down here through Aries. Got a, quite a narrow band up from this player in the background. It really is quite a narrow barrow. Uh, band. It's just really how we see this, where the ball is. The, the calculated average is here. Uh, and as you see, we've got three players completely outside, or sorry, three choices completely outside. Uh, I mean, I, I thought he, uh, this player, as I said, is, is coming down from a, from a header. Um, and I think he's just looking across the ball. I think he's probably headed it to me. There's obviously, it, it looks like it's raining. There's no sort of haze you can see coming off the player's head. Um, but I'll, I'll take you first, Leo. You, you've gone... At uh, the highest, I'll, I'll highlight your, um, put the magnifier over your choice. Uh, how did you see this um, this photo? Yeah, hi, Matt. Yeah, yeah. no, I, obviously the player in the background, his eye lines looking sort of straightforward and upwards. Yeah. I think the player in, on the left in yellow, his uh, his shirt is ruffled. I think he's he's stretching to... Um, to either head the ball or he's headed the ball, but at that moment he has stretched to get to it. Um, it his body's a bit twisted. Um, 
and he, he's for me he's he's slightly leaning backwards uh, to get his head onto the ball. As I said, he might have headed it, um, um, but I actually think the ball he's, he's adjusting to get to the ball. I yeah. think he's he's quite high up with his leap, and for me his eye line he's he's looking quite steeply. So okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and Liam, I'll come to you. You're just um, above the main sort of cluster here. Uh, you're the yellow one. I'll, I'll magnify you up there. Thank um, you. Uh, how did you see this this uh, photo? Any differently? I mean, whether he's headed the ball or not headed the ball, yes. how do you that thought? It's him, just personally, I think he, he's about to head the ball due to the fact that his eyes are, are wide open. Uh, if a player's headed the ball, they tend to sort of, you know, add that that little shock element and the eyes closed. But I think that's by the by at that point. Uh, just for me, I feel that uh, the guy in the, at the back there, he's got the stare on the ball. I think we're all agree with that. He's looking, he's looking, he's fixed, he's planted. Uh, you know, eyes are coming, uh, you know, uh, 45 degrees to his body. Um, and then we just got the guy in yellow uh, twisted. Um, and I think, his eyes, his head's leaning back. He's a little bit, his head's tilted slightly and eyes fixed to his left, uh, showing clear white. So, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's just got a little bit of height on it. Uh, I don't think the ball's low. Um, uh, yeah, realistically, yeah. yeah, I've not got anything else written down. I can't give you anything else, my friend. No, I mean, as, as, as Leo says, he's sort of just twisted. It's a bit of a strange position. He's sort of, mm. a, whether he's f flicking round to flick the ball or just adjusting in the air, it's difficult to, to tell. Um, I'll go now to you, Andy. Um, I'll magnify yours up. You're you're very close to this calculated average. Uh, how did you see the the photo? Uh, thanks, Matt. Um, as is previously said, uh, that the guy in the background, uh, the, the lower the lower of the two heads, we can see. I feel he's fixed. Um, to me, he's looking just slightly, ever so slightly to the right of, of dead centre. As uh, I think uh, Liam said there, he's looking into a 45 degree angle. So he's looking directly up at the ball. Um, the guy who we think is either heading it or has just headed it, I, I, I also believe he's about to head it. Otherwise, um, as was previously said, his eyes would probably be closed. Um, I just feel that the angle that I believe he's looking at is, is where I've placed the centre of my ball. Yeah, great. Thanks very much, Andy. Um, Kieran, you're just above Andy's here. Again, I'll magnify yours up. Um, did you see any any difference in in the picture, or uh, or did you concur with what's been said? Yeah, thanks, Matt. I, I more or less agree with what's been said. I think the thing that when I first did this, I put my cross a little bit lower, and then thought about we were looking for the centre of the ball, and I think uh, he's looking underneath the ball a little bit, the player in yellow, and that's why I put this a little bit higher. So, um, other than that, I agree with what everybody else has said so far. Yeah, great. Thank you. Um, Jenna, I'll come to you next. You're um, the pink cross here, just ever so slightly over the furthest to um, the left in, of the photograph, ever yeah. so slightly. Um, have you uh, seen the, the, the situation? Um, just echoing what's been said, really. I feel the guy in yellow, he's adjusting, twisting to get underneath the ball. Uh, I think he's about to meet the ball. I don't think he's headed it just yet, just due to the fact that his eyes are open. Um, and I've just taken the whites from his eyes, um, which is why I haven't gone too, too high, yeah. or too low. <clears throat> yeah, great. Thank you very much. Uh, and it should be said, obviously, the player in, in, in yellow is in the foreground. He's, he's in sharp focus with the player in the back is, is slightly blurred. Um, mm -hmm. I'll come to you next, Rene. You're just on the opposite side ever so slightly. Um, again, I will highlight yours there. Um, your thoughts? Yeah, I think... Um... Um, I actually think that the player in yellow has probably headed the ball just because of the way his body's twist, twisted. And as a, as a centre-back trying to defend a corner, that normally looks like the position I would get in if I, say, a corner was coming in and I was trying to flick it away, um, just the way that his body's twisted. Um, but also the, the player behind, um, I just feel like his head is ever so slightly um, tilted towards the right. Um and then his eyes pretty much concur with that. So that's why I've just gone ever so slightly um, off centre. Yeah, I, I, and, I, and I, I personally would agree with everything you've said there, Renee. I'm also a centre back. So it's one of those things where the, as the ball's coming over, even it's not necessarily a solid header, it's just a flick on 
which may may be the reason why his body's in a strange position. It's just that flick on to take it off uh, an attacker's head. Thank you very much. Hugh, um, you're just here, uh, slightly below the, the main cluster. How, how have you looked at this? Yeah, nothing different to what's been said, really. Um, player on his way down, I think, from heading it as well. And I just felt that guy in the background, whether it's keeper or kind of a static defender, I just felt he was looking that bit to the right, his head, head and eye direction. Yeah. Yeah. OK, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll now come to you, Matthew. Uh, I mean, I think a, a good point that um, uh, Kieran made is, 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 is we're looking at the centre of the ball and, and you, you've gone lower next to Ari, who will be last on the, uh, uh, to speak about this picture. And if I highlight yours there, magnify and then put the magnifier over the top, how have you seen the picture? Yeah, to be honest, I've, I, th I think I think the player in yellow is hanging in the air. I, I don't know if he's if he's um, headed it yet. He, he might be waiting to head it, but I've really looked at his eyes. I think there's a there's a lot of white to the left hand side. I can't see any underneath. Granted, the angle of his head might might make that tricky actually to spot. Um, but that's why I've played it. I've I've played it a lot lower, um, just by the eye line of the player in yellow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And lastly, um, Ari, I'll, I'll magnify your choice here. You're ever so slightly lower than Matthew here. Um, how have you seen the photo? Well, um, exactly the same as, as, as Matthew. Uh, when, when I zoomed in uh, the eyeliner of, of, of the eyes of player in yellow, uh, there's a lot of white uh, that we can see on, on, on the left side. And, and then trying to follow the logic of the direction of where he's looking, uh, I felt that he's looking looking slightly um, in the corner. He's looking through through the corner of his eyes, and while while he's twisting, and his his head is slightly tilted as well. So I think he's 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 struggling to get to this ball to head or ever just give give a, a slightly touch. Uh, uh, but uh, that's that's the way I saw it. I saw that. that it, if we if we if you zoomed in again uh, on his eyes, I felt that he's, he's just on the corner. He's looking through the corner, uh, yeah. so that's why I went I went low. No, fair enough. Thank you very much, Ari. Okay, so we've really got uh, as we've said a very narrow lineup from this player in the background. I think we're all um, in agreement. Uh, it's, it's a very narrow band, and just uh, to the players left and right as we're looking at it, uh, which is slight um, tilt on on the lines drawn up. Um, I would, I want to, what I want to see, uh, Leo is, is the highest. And then we have both Matthew and Ari, uh, quite the long, the, the lowest. And if, if we remove those three, um, it, it moves not a huge amount, but it moves enough, I think, for, to make a big difference. And it brings the other seven within the magnifier. So if I, I'll take this off and, and, and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, sorry. So there with those three choices, which are basically one high and two below, uh, that's the calculated average, which again is just above Andy's choice. Um, and it encompasses all our choices within, within the magnifier. Um, um, Matt, can you just, yep. um, uh, you have that option. Can you just check, just removing um, Leo, if we, um, if I and Matthew still stay in the in the in the in the cluster? Mm. So you see, you still really. two below, and then Liam slightly yeah. above. Um, Not and, really. Uh, yeah, and I understand fully um, the differences of choices, and I think we've talked about it a, a lot before about whether we played the ball, why we're playing, looking at this photograph. And as, as Rennie pointed out, you know, being a, a professional footballer and, and how she would play as in her position, it, it makes it makes sense, I think, to that's an important part of looking at our choices because we're seeing how not only the player is playing the ball, but also where their eyes are looking for and the reason that their head's tilted back and their arms are up and the shirt's up. Um, but I, I think that as we've said before, and I think you said, you know, succinctly weeks and weeks ago, that is a very tight cluster within the magnifier. And I, and I think that that's a very comfortable choice. It could be slightly lower, it could be slightly higher, but as a panel, 
So what I'd like to do is um, go for a, a panel vote uh, with the three choices of Leo, Arian, and Matthew being removed to get this uh, calculated average into the, the center of our cluster. Uh, so first, if I come to you, Rennie, um, your thoughts yeah. on uh, or yes or a no? Yeah, happy with them removed. Yeah, thank you. Liam? Liam? Oh, we can come back to Liam. Kieran? Yeah, I think that's consistent with the way we've been judging recently, all seven that you've kept in are within the, uh, the ball. So I think that's a good choice. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Matthew? Yeah, I agree. It's, it's consistent. It's a good cluster. I'm happy with that. Yeah, thank you very much. Harry? Yes, it's, it's, it's a good, uh, good, good choice. Thank you. Uh, Hugh? Yeah, happy with that. Lovely. Jenna? Yeah, happy with that. Thank you. Leo? Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit higher, but I'm happy yep. to go. go understand. With yeah. Andy? Yes, I'm happy with that. Uh, and lastly, Liam. Apologies, uh, guys. I put the, the, the microphones on mute, so that's that's my that's area. Fine. Yeah, I, I, I agree. The only provide I, I do agree that Leo possibly uh, it pulls it a little bit higher um, and it, it could possibly sit a little bit better, but we'll go with the seven. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as this, there's, there's, there's really three below that this calculator is three above and one smack on, which is mm -hmm. Rene's uh, just a bit to the right. Okay, thank you very much indeed, everybody. Um, Alex, uh, we've decided to uh, judge at the average with uh, three choices, Matthew, Ari, and Leo's removed uh, to get the calculated average within a, in a fairly tight cluster. Okay, thank you very much. On that basis, then please click submit. Okay, thank you very much, judges. The coordinates selected are 2447692. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company, as it's to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.